Konnichiwa. Would you like to learn some idioms all about hearts? Will you be able to learn these idioms by heart? My name is Jen and today we're going to learn 14 idioms using hearts. First, I'd like to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Our first idiom is from the bottom of one's heart. This idiom means that you feel very sincerely, very deeply, very seriously about something. Usually this idiom will be used with I thank you from the bottom of my heart and I love you from the bottom of my heart. The next idiom is have a heart to heart. A heart to heart conversation. If you have a heart to heart conversation with someone, it means that you are having a very intimate, very close conversation with someone and you are talking about your feelings and talking about how you openly and honestly feel about certain things. Oftentimes, when you're having a heart to heart conversation with someone, you will pour your heart out. Pour your heart out. This idiom means that you are sharing all of your deep, dark secrets. You're confiding in that person. You may be even getting very, very emotional about it as you're sharing your story about how you feel about things. Pour your heart out to someone as you have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. The next idiom is to wear your heart on your sleeve. This part of your clothing is called your sleeve. And if you are wearing your heart, on your sleeve, it means that you are behaving in such a way that your deep feelings, usually love, are obvious to other people. You're not keeping your feelings hidden very well. <sighs> I'm wearing my heart on my sleeve because everyone around me can tell that I like him. So to wear your heart on your sleeve, act in a certain way so that people know how you feel. The next two idioms are kind of opposites. Put your heart into it. If you put your heart into something, it means that you are trying your best. You are giving it your all. You enjoy doing it and you're excited to keep doing it. Put your heart into something. The opposite of this is if your heart is not in something. My heart is just not in it, meaning you don't really care about it. You're not taking it very seriously. It's not a priority for you. So put your heart into something or ah, his heart is just not in it today. This is very similar to another idiom, which is to do something half-heartedly. Half-heartedly means that you're not trying your best. You're just Eh, whatever, I'm just gonna go through the motions and, and just do it, right? So to do something half-heartedly because your heart is not in it. The next idiom is to tug at someone's heart strings. If something is tugging at your heart strings, it is making you feel very emotional about it. It's making you feel very sad and cautious of whatever is happening. So many times when I see infomercials for like a homeless shelter and oh, I really want to help those homeless people or I'm watching something for specifically one of my favorite charities, Plan International, and I see these children who like they don't get a proper education and things like that, I just, my heart goes out to them and I feel so sad so it tugs at my heartstrings and there's an extra bonus when your heart goes out to someone it means that you are understanding their situation you can sympathize with them. the next one is if something is close to your heart close to your heart if something is close to your heart, it means that you really, really care about it. It's something that you really, really believe strongly in or someone who you believe really strongly in, right? So Tomo is close to my heart. Also, the cause for getting proper education for people, specifically women in many countries, is a cause that is close to my heart. If this is also a cause that is close to your heart, I'm going to put a link to Plan International in the bottom, in the description below, if you would like to research their I Am A Girl campaign, which helps girls in different countries to get a proper education so they're not forced into things such as child marriage. This is a cause that is close to my heart. It's dear to my heart. And when I see terrible things like that happening, it really tugs at my heartstrings. My heart goes out to these girls. The next idiom is to set your heart on something. 
set your heart on something. This means that you really, really want something. You want to set that goal and it's all you want to try and achieve. You absolutely want this, right? So I have my heart set on being a great actress and an excellent English teacher. The next idiom is follow your heart. Follow your heart or listen to your heart. To follow your heart or listen to your heart means that you are doing what you feel is right. You're doing what you desire to do. You're not necessarily letting logic and your mind and your thoughts get in the way of doing what you feel is right. So if you set your heart on something, you should follow your heart. Boom, 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 boom. This is your heartbeat. The next idiom is to do something in a heartbeat. If you do something in a heartbeat, it means that you do it immediately. You'll do it at once. No matter what I'm doing, if my husband calls me and asks me to help him, I will help him in a heartbeat. The last four idioms today are all about having different types of hearts or just have a heart. So this idiom is to have a heart. Usually you use this expression if someone is not being sympathetic towards something. They're being kind of cruel or evil. So you say to them, come on, have a heart. Meaning, come on, loosen up, be more sympathetic towards the situation. If someone does not have a heart and you're telling them, come on, have a heart, man, then maybe it's because they have a heart of stone. To have a heart of stone means that you are kind of cruel and stern and cold and you don't really have any strong emotional connection to something. So try not to have a heart of stone. A good type of heart to have is to have a heart of gold. If you have a heart of gold, it means that you're really trustworthy and honest and earnest. It's always good to find people in this world who have a heart of gold. And the very last idiom for today is to have a change of heart. To have a change of heart means that you change your mind about something, right? So maybe at first you are talking to your teacher and you say, oh teacher, I'm so sorry that I, 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 you know, I failed the test, I was really tired and I had all these problems and the teacher's like, no, I don't care. And your teacher, come on, please have a heart, please, please, right? And then the teacher, oh, okay, fine, I'll let you take the test again. Your teacher had a change of heart. So today you learned more than 14 idioms using hearts. And now it's time for question of the day. Today's question is, what do you have your heart set on and what steps are you going to take to follow your heart? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching this video. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Mina, thank you, gambate ne, jane. There's one extra bonus idiom for you. At the beginning of this video, I asked you if you would like to learn idioms using hearts, if you'd like to learn them by heart. To learn something by heart or to know something by heart means that you have it memorized. You know it very, very well and you can remember it like that. So, can you remember today's idioms by heart? Mm -hmm.